Hello everyone and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Las Vegas at AWS reInvent where I'm delighted to be joined by Dan Waters, Regional Vice President of EMEA Partners for Snowflake, along with Maddie Reddy, Partner Sales Director for AWS. Such a pleasure to be with both of you here on the show floor here this afternoon. Thank you very much. Excited to be here. Dan, it's always a pleasure. Great to see you, Ryan. Thanks for having us back. Let's start off by examining the partnership as a whole. How has it evolved over the years and what business outcomes are you driving collectively across Europe? Our partnership with AWS has come a really long way in the last few years. Besides the comprehensive products integration, we've got over 25 integrations across the product portfolio now. We've also expanded our regional coverage as well to be in over 22 locations with AWS across the globe. So really great coverage, really great partnership. Both teams have worked together to support our customers and help them modernize their data foundation. And the success of this is really showing in the accomplishments that we've been able to achieve in the field together. Only this week, we've been incredibly honored to receive five awards from AWS to really showcase the success we've had in the EMEA region. So we, uh, we were very privileged to receive the Technology Partner of the Year in the UK, in France, in Benelux, in Israel, and in Central and Eastern Europe. So really, this is testament to the work that we're doing together in the field how we're really driving commitment to drive customer-based innovation and empower our EMEA enterprises to thrive by maximizing their investment in their data foundations by working together with AWS and Snowflake. So really great to see. Great to hear Dan and Maddie. would love your perspective as well. Oh, thank you so much for having me here. And Dan, to you and your team, congratulations. It's an amazing testament to see that your top partner of the year for uh, EMEA and five regions. It's, I think it's a joint testament to the joint innovation we are doing and a very shared culture of customer obsession. It's amazing to see. And one of the things I always think is there is no AI strategy without a data strategy. And I love the way that our teams are innovating together to first create solid data foundations. I, I love that uh, we are with Snowflake and AWS on cloud. We are able to migrate legacy data of customers onto a modern data platform which is secure by design, which has governance involved in it. Uh, and uh, it's quite amazing to see how we are collaborating to reduce the time, cost, risk and of these migrations. Solutions were built together. Uh, if I think about the AWS Graviton and what Snowflake is doing with it, it gives you a very cost performance solution. Uh, in addition to that, the joint architectures we've built and the products integrations we've done are reducing the time and risk of these migrations. So once you've built this data foundation, it is so easy to layer the innovation and fuel uh, the new AI use cases we're seeing in the market. So the really exciting things we've done, for example, we've used um, a Snowflake on AWS to um, improve drug discovery wow. in healthcare and life sciences. We've created the ESG cases for financial services. Uh, we've used it for customized experiences uh, in gaming for uh, media companies. So it's quite amazing to see all these industry use cases come to life. You know, we have our customers on consistently telling us that this is really creating a super differentiated model for them versus their peers. So super exciting days. Great perspective. Taking this one step further, what trends are emerging from your ecosystem of joint customers and how is Snowflake plus AWS helping to solve these challenges together? Maddie, let's start with you. I think it has been a transformative year for AI. So what we are seeing is uh, customers moving from POC to production at exceptional speed. It has been tremendous to see that uh, acceleration. So in that context, I think uh, there are a lot of things that we are doing in terms of trends. Um, the trends we are seeing probably, I think um, Snowflake has sold about 33.9 billion of software on AWS. So 20% of that has been in EMEA. Now, what's interesting is I think that gives us a joint responsibility to really help our customers drive the value and acceleration from the POCs and AI. Right, so in this context, you know, creating a consolidated data foundation, that is super important uh, in being able to secure, in being able to create the right high quality data, which is clean, which is able to be reused by customers. That's super important. Uh, I think it is also very important uh, in the context of the seamless integration between Snowflake and AWS AI ML technologies. It's with this year, I think Snowflake is a generated AI plasma of AWS, and that's amazing. At a product level, uh, if you think of it, 
AWS SageMaker is connecting very strongly uh, and uh, drawing upon Snowflake's data directly. And I think uh, soon Snowflake is going to be able to offer AWS Bedrock solutions and Tropic Cloud on uh, Amazon Bedrock. So I think this is going to fuel a lot of innovation. Um, and I feel we should lean into these trends. But I think more important than that, given the, uh, given the consolidated experience we have and the scale we have, I don't think it is about leaning into the trends. I think it is about creating a real vision in the market for acceleration of AI with our customers. Great to hear. And Dan, we'd love your perspective as well. Yeah, as Maddie mentioned, with both AWS and Snowflake being customer obsessed, customer first companies, we've been developing new joint solutions for our customers, like for instance, the industrial data fabric in manufacturing or the institutional client services, which is specific to FSI. So focusing on enabling our customers to build Dreamlet powered by AWS uh, Bedrock. Uh, so for instance, democratizing the, the, the power of AI, interlocking into, as Maddie said, connecting into, into Bedrock and using our new partnership that we just announced with Anthropic to really take client solutions to the next level and really innovate around the generative AI opportunities. So Snowflake, as Maddie mentioned, just achieved our regenerative AI competency. We're really proud of having that uh, now as part of our partnership moving forward, really highlighting the, uh, the, the, the success that we can drive together in that motion. Uh, as I mentioned, we have recently announced our partnership with Anthropic. And we've seen how this is a real game changer for some of our customers, specifically in EMEA. So if we look at, uh, at Siemens, for instance, that have taken an Anthropic delivered model built on bedrock, delivered through, through Snowflake, to take over 7,500 pages of, uh, of, of, of script to really drive real business insights out of, out of that data. So real, really game changing in terms of what they can do with our data. Or Allianz, who are leveraging Apache Iceberg uh, with cost-effective interoperability using AWS and Snowflake alongside Apache Iceberg. So really innovative solutions, driving really business value but focused on customer obsession as, as AWS are as well. Well, it's great to hear the excitement and buzz is all around us. It's clearly all happening here in Las Vegas at AWS reInvent. What's top of mind for both of you while on site, Dan? Would love your perspective. Well, yeah, I'm quite a really excited about our future collaboration with AWS, particularly as it pertains to generative AI solutions migrations and also application development. So this event here at reInvent is really showcasing how we work together to ensure our customers access the latest and greatest of the technologies, but also how those technologies are bringing real business value to our clients. So one of the highlights for us this year is being a founding partner of the AWS Sustainability Data Fabric. So this is a unified data platform for integrating, processing, and analyzing sustainability data across carbon accounting, energy optimization, and also supply chain transparency to drive actionable insights from that platform. So customers can use this for things like carbon and ESG reporting to improve accuracy, audibility and traceability for regulatory sustainability reporting. Um, but our sustainability efforts with AWS go way beyond just corporate social responsibility. By leveraging AWS and Snowflake on the sustainability data fabric, customers can also optimize their resource usage be more energy efficient, be more cost efficient, and more cost effective. So really driving huge value. Great to hear Dan and Maddie. I think what is very important is uh, for our customers, uh, very important that we come together as a joint uh, solution. Right? There's not two individual brands, there's not two individual solutions that we were bringing together, the part of AWS, a part of Snowflake, to create joint solutions for our customers. So I think the very important part for me, uh, I think is the AI ML synergy that we're going to be driving together and all the use cases uh, that we can be creating together. So I think there's a huge propensity um, to drive these kind of changes in a few industries, for example, financial services, healthcare and life sciences, media, retail and CPG. So we really want to lean them into those uh, industries and build use cases. So at this point in time, we have about 400 use cases uh, approximately for AIML. So how can we jointly help our customers leverage those, uh, accelerate their journeys, template those uh, solutions and move forward a little bit more. So that is top of mind. Uh, sustainability, as you pointed out, uh, you know, it is so data driven. And uh, I think uh, it's the top three agenda for most CIOs and C-suite uh, worldwide and more so in EMEA. 
Um, finally, I would say, uh, you know, in terms of EMEA market expansion, we are already working in such a big way in five deadly regions. We'd love to expand more in uh, territories like Middle East, uh, where, you know, it is still in early days. Uh, so really, I think this is not about leaning into trends. This is about creating a joint region for uh, AI and ML in the future, uh, built on a solid data foundation. An exciting next chapter indeed. What's next for Snowflake and AWS as it relates to Europe? Maddie, we'd love your perspective. So I'm hoping uh, expansion into military phrase. Definitely AI ML merger, more industry use cases, and uh, educating our customers uh, to use these technologies a little bit more. And uh, in that context, these kind of events help a great deal because we've got a lot of joint architectures, lots of uh, industry guidance, um, hands-on labs. So I think the education part is a very big part of this as well. Yeah. And Dan? Yeah, I mean, the growth that we've had together over the past few years is really just the start in terms of where we can get to in terms of the opportunity that's in front of us. Our technology goes hand in hand and we keep working with, with each other to really drive better integrations and client success together. So that innovation is fueling our future growth. Uh, as Maddie said, we're the forefront of the AI revolution and now is the time to help our customers get to production AI. We've got the right tools, and, and as showcased by the, uh, the amazing awards that we received this week, we've got the right regional collaboration specific to EMEA, which is really driving that growth. So we've also got a great ecosystem of SIs, ISVs, that are working together with Snowflake and AWS to deliver end-to-end -end solutions to our joint customers. And we're building the future of AI with a phenomenal data foundation powered by AWS and Snowflake. So really, the, the sky is the limit in terms of where we can drive this partnership to. I love that the sky is the limit, an exciting next chapter for Snowflake plus AWS. Thank you so much for joining me here Thank today. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Matt. Thanks so much, Dad. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for joining us here on the show floor at AWS reInvent. We'll see you soon.